Welcome to my chapter 8 analysis from Looking at Movies of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Stanley Kubrick was an American director originally from the United States. He ultimately moved to England. In terms of editing, Kubrick always uses first-person viewpoint, never uses rolling credits, and includes a tracking shot of a character in every single film. Kubrick has done such well-known films as Lolita in 1962, Dr. Strangelove in 1964, A Clockwork Orange in 1971, The Shining in 1980, Full Metal Jacket in 1987. But today, we will be talking about Kubrick's cult classic, 2001, A Space Odyssey, filmed in 1968. Editing is defined by the text as the selection and arrangement of shots and sounds. We will now be analyzing various aspects of editing, such as fragmentation, juxtaposition, spatial relationships between shots, different cuts, and pace of shots, all in relation to 2001 A Space Odyssey. Let's talk about fragmentation. It is defined in the text as the breaking up of shots, scenes, events, and actions into multiple shots that provide diversity of compositions and combinations with which to convey the meaning Playing Before You Right Now is an example of classical cutting in the film. This typically contains one long shot that covers characters, setting, and action in a long continuous take. Playing Before You is the opening scene of the film, in which the audience is introduced and the origins of humanity's primal nature come out, an important theme that recurs later in the film. Now, let's talk about spatial relationships between shots. When talking about spatial relationships, the director wants us to be able to create a mental map of the setting. The scene playing before you now does just that. Kubrick is building the viewer's mental map of perhaps the most spacious scene that a film could possibly be set in, outer space. Kubrick does an ep excellent job of following the spacecraft where the film takes space from one shot to the next, nicely keeping up the mental map that the viewer is creating. Now, let's go over pace. Pace is defined as the speed at which a shot sequence flows, according to looking at movies. According to an article by world-renowned source, The New Yorker, the author writes about its balance between hypnotic and immensely boring factors. There's something almost taunting about the movie's pace. 2001 isn't long because it's dense with storytelling. It's long because Kubrick distributed its few narrative jolts as sparsely as possible. Now, let's talk about graphic match cuts. A graphic match cut is an implication and a direct link between events and contexts that are presented in two different shots by repeating a similar shape, color, or other compositional element from one shot to the next. Now, let's see an example of a graphic match cut in a well-known film called Psycho, directed by Alfred Alfred Hitchcock from 1960. We see the scene in which the main character is killed and her lifeless body drains blood from where she was stabbed. The close-up into the drain emphasizes to the viewer that her life is over, but it's the graphic match cut to her lifeless, unmoving eye that solidifies it. Now, let's think back to that opening scene of 2001, A Space Odyssey. The primitive, ape-like creature destroys the skeleton of a deceased animal and is thrashing about, scattering broken bones everywhere. Suddenly, the scene cuts millions of years ahead of time as the bone is thrown into the air and a graphic match cut displays the spacecraft of which the story will take place. Here is a still of the bone, and here is the spacecraft. From outside source, Junichi Yai, who inter interviewed Kubrick about the ending of the film, the use of French architecture was very intentional and is not seen but rarely around the world. He's made into a sort of Superman and kept in that room for the rest of his life. This explains the closing scene. Junichi is a director and writer who filmed his famous interview in 1980. Today, we talked about the famous film, 2001, A Space Odyssey, directed by Kubrick in 1968. Elements of editing from Chapter 8 such as just juxtaposition, fragmentation, spatial relationships, and graphic match cuts. We heard from outside sources from The New Yorker and Jun Chi Yai. We compared a scene from Psycho in 1960. This has been my Chapter 8 analysis of 2001, A Space Odyssey.